Hi everyone, and this is Xinya, a senior backend engineer from Release Group. Today, I would like to talk about this group level protected environments feature, which will be released in 40.3. Um, so simply put, this feature is about um, segregation of duties between operators and the developers. So um, typically in large organizations, they want uh, developers to only write code and they uh, they shouldn't touch production environments, whereas uh, operators, they shouldn't touch code base, but they uh, have an access to the production environments and the managing infrastructure. So basically this feature helps um, this uh, authorization scheme in uh, enterprise organization. So um, let's get started the uh, quick demonstration. So at first, we're going to create a new group. It's called demo org. Okay, um, so I just created a demo org. This is a root group um, maybe, uh, that typically represents a company name or organization name. And then uh, we're gonna create the two groups. One is a developer group, and then the other one is a uh, operator group. <clears throat> so I click a new subgroup, create a group. Developer group, uh, public. Okay, and the other one is uh, operator group, public. Create a group. Okay, so we now see these two groups uh, under the root group, and uh, we're going to add. Uh, users to each group. Uh, we need to assign developers to developer group and the operator still operator group. So uh, I'm gonna go into the operator group and then members. Um, so uh, uh, I already created a user. Uh, Okay, okay, got it. And the assign as maintainer and the invite. Now I, as an organizational administrator, assign this user, Kumiko Takashi, uh, who is uh, operator uh, role, operator role, uh, to this operator group. And then we are going to similar thing to uh, develop developer group as well. I'm going to members. And then uh, invite uh, a demo user. Um, this Takashi Yoshida is a, a developer in this role, uh, de uh, sorry, developer role in this uh, demonstration. Um, then I just assigned to developer group uh, as a main div. So let's um, let's talk about a hypothetical situation that um, the one of the developers is going to create a new project and the developer group, and then uh, create a CI/CD pipeline that deploys to production environment. So um, I'm going to switch a user account. Okay, now I'm signed in as a, a developer. Uh, please. Uh, Keep in mind that I'm not administrator. I'm just uh, pretend as a developer. And then as a developer, I'm going to create a new project under this developer group. Create a blank project. Uh, let's say all sum up in public. Okay, and then uh, we're going to set up uh, uh, the pipeline, says CD pipeline. So in this demo, I'm going to create a deploy to. I'm going to create the two jobs in this pipeline. One is review job, stage test, environment review, CI commit. Left Slack. So this job means um, 
the Ruby job is going to deploy um, uh, the application to uh, demonstration server. Uh, it's also called Ruby app. It's not production. And then we're going to create a similar job, but uh, it's going to deploy to production server. Um, and then deploy to production. And then we set the production. Since we don't want to um, uh, do continuous, de uh, continuous deployment, but we do continuous delivery, which means a manual um, process to deploy, uh, we're going to uh, add this web manual. Keyword, this means that uh, pipeline job won't be executed automatically, but the uh, uh, users have to click it, um, play button. So uh, I'm gonna uh, commit this change. Okay, okay. So um, as, I, as a developer, I just created a, a new pipeline, um, which has a test job and a deploy job. And then uh, looking at this deploy job, um, actually, I can trigger this manual action to trigger this um, production deployment. So this is a problematic in large enterprise organization because um, they are they basically want developers not to touch production environment at all. Um, but um, as a developer, I can do this right now. So. Um, this is a problem uh, to solve. And then uh, group level protected environments uh, can solve this uh, situation. Uh, so what we're gonna do is basically um, create a new configuration at this root level that only uh, like all production environments uh, under this group can be deployed by people in operator group. So to do so, we have to execute uh, uh, this um, API to create an entry. Um, this is a, uh, like a create a new rule at this root level that uh, what I just said. So um, I'm, we're gonna execute this call. Uh, we're going to create a new entry that uh, the request was successful. With that, uh, let's switch back to the developer. Um, let's see the pipelines. Now, um, as I sign in as a developer, I'm impersonate developer, um, checking the deployment job. Now the play button is gone. Um, I cannot trigger this job. So that's uh, the point of this feature that um, now, uh, since we created a rule that only production deployment jobs can be deploy, uh, can be executed by operator group, um, I can do this as our developer. Uh, let's sign in as an operator and then what's uh, they gonna see. Okay, so um, I just signed in as operator. Um, I impersonate operator. In, uh, right now. Um, so um, as an operator, I want to deploy, I want to execute the production uh, deployment job. So I'm going to pipeline page and then clicking the production job, but still um, it's not executable even I'm operator. So um, there's, a, uh, there's an additional configuration is needed that um, in order to execute a pipeline job in this project, in this developer project, um, this operator uh, has to at least be a uh, reporter role or above. To do so, uh, we are going to uh, this developer group and then uh, subscription uh, members. So what are we gonna do is basically add operator people into developer group as reporter. So operator, operators do not have a permission to write code under developer group, but they only can um, audit pipeline jobs and then execute deployment jobs to the production. So uh, to do so, we're going to uh, visit the de developer group, 
group members, invite group, and then uh, operator group uh, demo, and then reporter invite. Okay. Now, uh, people in operator group are added to developer group as reporter, uh, which means uh, now I'm impersonating as an operator. Um, I can execute the uh, production job, uh, which wasn't uh, available uh, previously. So um, now as an operator, uh, as I said, I cannot edit the code base. Um, like even if I try to edit, uh, that's uh, disallowed, but I can only execute the um, production job. And now it's running. So um, that's the whole point of this feature. Uh, hope, uh, hope it works well in your organizations. Um, so thank you for watching. See you.